And you know I usually put both my bikes right here, Parker. Hey, my Harleys. Dan Bliss is assessing damage in the light of day. Tuesday evening, the derelict church that neighbors his house was demolished after it collapsed. It cracked into the roof. It did a lot. And probably structural damage you see in that footing. And then mainly in that one there. Only a pile of wreckage and a gash in the earth remains of St. Edmunds Hall. According to city documents, the church on Elm Street and Woodman Avenue was built in 1910. Thumbing through the city's file on the property is Dale Arnold. The building code manager admits the unoccupied church had not been inspected by his office since 1975. This building wasn't even on our radar. We had no idea. Lying in rubble behind me, the collapse of St. Edmunds Hall is something that individuals in this neighborhood say they knew was coming for some time. My mother was here for years and she complained about it and nothing was ever done. While it is puzzling that a top building code inspector would have no knowledge of a potentially dangerous property, he says the current regulations and bylaws only require an inspection on new homes, renovated properties, and when there is a complaint. It is troublesome, but there's nothing in the code that we can go out and say and start checking these older buildings. In this case, fire officials say the building had been abandoned for eight years, leaving no one to initiate an inspection or clear snow officials expect snap the back of the aged building. For neighbors looking at large-scale damage to their home, the city's answer to why an unsafe building stood for years provides little comfort. I don't think they should be doing more. I know they should be doing more of these buildings that are like this, especially when the walls are bowed out a foot on each side. Doesn't that tell you something? Scott Cunningham, Chat News.